Hello, so I've just finished watching Ricky Gervais' Afterlife 2 and if you're about to watch it too but you can't quite remember what happened in the last episode then I'm going to do a quick recap of what happened. So, beginning of the last series, we find out that obviously his wife has passed away and he's basically living a self-destructive life. He's pushing all of his family, well, all of his friends that are left and he's like, literally, the only reason why he doesn't commit suicide is because he kind of thinks, well, who's going to feed my dog? <laughs> Literally, that's the only thing. And the only other thing that seems to be important is his nephew. And basically, he starts to self-implode his own life, push everyone away, and he just wants to punish the world. And he makes friends with an old woman in a graveyard who's also there to see her husband. And basically comes to the realisation that, you know, life, it's the little things in life that make life worth living. And maybe... Just maybe his life is worth living and he starts to get feelings for a nurse in a nursing home where his dad is, who he goes to see pretty much every single day without fail and kind of talks to him. But obviously his dad's got dementia and can't really remember him. And some days he thinks he's like his brother or, or whatnot. And then one day he's like, you don't remember me, do me, do you? And he's like, he's like I'm your son. And then he kind of like, oh, you drew on the wallpaper on the stairs. And he starts to remember this story of when he was, when Ricky, the Ricky Gervais' character was seven and he drew on the wallpaper and says, oh yeah, your mum will be very cross, but don't worry, I've got no, I've got wallpaper in the shed and I'll fix it tomorrow. And he's like, you fixed it 14 years ago, dad, can't they? But anyway, he's doing all right, slowly getting better. And then at the end, in the last episode, he makes amends, well, attempts to try and make amends to everyone. And... The woman in the office who always annoys him, I think her name is Kath, the basically the one that's a bit like, yeah, but you only believe in facts and I believe in everything mysticalness. And the one that's really annoying, he even makes amends to her and just like, you know, just thank you for annoying me every day. And then he also buys her like a little snow globe with Kevin Hart in, which looks quite funny, I'm not gonna <laughs> lie. And then um, he also buys the fat ginger kid who, calls him a pedo, he buys that kid a tricycle, no, a bike to say sorry for scaring him and that he's not really a murderer and just leaves a bike there with a creepy note on it. I'm not gonna lie, it's a little bit creepy, but he does that and then he asks the nurse out and you're like, is she gonna say yes, isn't she? She says yes to a drink and then kind of the episode ends or the season ends and that's where we left her. He's being a lot better, he's starting to realise that life is worth living, living and he may be falling in love with someone else and she said yes to going for a drink with him. And that's all we know. And I've just, after Life 2, like everything about it is just perfect. Even the length of the episodes, you know when you're watching a TV series and they're like an hour long, you're like, oh. It's so good, but I, I shouldn't watch the next episode. No. Oh, go on then. And then you feel really bad because you know it's another like hour long episode and then you end up watching all of them. You feel really bad. The links of the episodes are perfect. They're like half an hour to 40 minutes. You don't even feel bad. I've just like watched all of it in one day. I'm not going to lie. I think there's like, there's like six episodes or something. The next episode, I'm not going to give anything away. All I'm going to say is that it, in my opinion, it is twice as funny and my God, has he ramped up the emotions. Like, I don't get emotional at programs, but even I was like, it was, it's tear jerking. It's just, it's one of those programs where it just makes you feel good because it's almost, you know, it's just about life and living and it's done so well and it just makes, it puts a smile on your face. Yeah, you do feel a bit sad, but there's just little things that make you giggle, which is what life is all about. Life is, in my opinion, is all about giggling and having a laugh, obviously. it's. A very sad side of life uh, after life too but it it's just funny although one i will give one spoiler the dog doesn't die okay uh, there is a dog in afterlife if you well if you haven't seen afterlife the first one why are you watching this video go watch it now but the dog stays <laughs> i love the dog all right that's 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 you kind of recapped obviously i think i missed the fact that he's Drogo friend in the first season, obviously he died and whatnot and he went to a funeral and he's friends with a prostitute and stuff. But that's all stuff that you would hopefully remember from the first season. That 
don't really make much difference to the second season. So, then uh, you're all caught up, kind of. So I'm gonna have a cup of tea and find something else to binge watch. Enjoy the second season. Like if you're, I'm in an RM, I would, I would say, make sure you haven't got anything scheduled for the rest of your day. That's all I'm gonna say. Cause I, I put it on and I was like, oh, I watch the next one. And then watch them, and I'm like, they're only half an hour long to 40 minutes. I'll watch all of them. Yeah. <laughs> because you know, what? Well, fuck it, why not? Just watch them all like I did. And they're great. The last one will make you feel sad. Not gonna lie. But you got like a little <sighs> bit at the end. So there's, it's up and down, up and down, topsy-turvy. And it is great. <laughs> it's, it's pro I think it's the best thing that Ricky's Race has like, written. It's better than the first one. Like the first one was really good, but this one is just, there's, there's jokes, there's laughter, but it's mixed up with sadness, ups and downs and yeah. I mean, I don't think he's probably going to do another season because Ricky Gervais only seems to write like TV series in like two. He doesn't seem to do any more than two. But let's hope that he does a Christmas special because I feel like there's a few little bits that, you know, he could tie in and a few more people like he could probably get someone to punch someone in the face or something. It would there, there is I think there's room for a Christmas episode, but he's left it all pretty tied up. So I don't think there's going to be another season. But I mean, what? Why keep milking something if it's good? Leave it on a high, and I think it's left on like a sad, happy high. All right, now I'm gonna go and finish my tea. Bye. <laughs>